Welcome back to the Survival Gardener Minute. I'm David the Good, and today my son is going to explain what happened with this individual station of corn. We planted three on one hill. Okay, so this is the upwind, and this is the downwind. The upwind did bar got barely any pollination. It was, the all the pollen was blown the other way, towards this one. But this one still got po um, sketchy pollination, I think because it, it was a later year and the leaves crowded over almost completely over the um, ear of corn. So if you're doing a large scale corn, usually you'd have a whole bunch of them crammed, crammed together and then you get really pretty ears, like the ones you find at the store and everything. But so we did an experiment to see what would happen if you just did three on a hill. And wanted to share it with you guys so you could see what happens. Yeah, it's definitely, I mean, it, it's it's like one-eighth of the corn kernels that we should have had if you were to count this out, <laughs> something like that. So this was just a, could we stick three together and treat it like one plant, you know, out here in the garden, and would they pollinate because they're right on top of each other? You see, normally corn would be planted in larger blocks like we have back here and over here, and up up in the top, we have a series of stations like this along the in the new food forest area. But like every four to five feet, there's another block of them, and there's another block of them, and there's so you could see these individual blocks here that were planted around the same time, and there was a bunch of them. But this one, we just decided to stand alone. So that is how the experiment ended. So thanks for joining us, and be sure to like and subscribe, and do some experiments in your garden and see how it works. But that's how you know. Try it in your own garden. Catch you guys later. Until next time, may your thumbs always be green.